What good has this pandemic brought you? I've been drug free for 6 months now started, because I couldn't get any. Now I just don't want any. Thank you covid. I'm so proud of you. Way to go. Thank you. I'm a single dad who went from traveling 250k miles per year for speaking gigs to all virtual overnight. I've spent the last 6 months seeing my 7 year old daughter every day, and it's been nothing short of magical. Same thing with my husband. He was traveling every week Monday through Thursday. Since covered he has seen more of our kids than he ever had in the past. He didn't have a bad relationship with him before, but I can tell they are closer now. My husband being around every day is a positive for our family. Can I ask what he does? I don't have family and like driving lol, and I always wanted one of those jobs where you get to drive to a different office every day or whatever. I lost my job and caught covered 3 weeks apart, but since then I've lost 20 pounds and I had time to study for and pass 3 different tests for new state level board certifications that'll hopefully be able to spin into a new career soon. Congratulations. You turned lemons into lemonade. Singing in a mock Elvis voice, lemonade. That cool refreshing drink. A lot of time with nothing to do but improve myself. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm cutting back on drinking. I'm sleeping better. I'm running my first D&D campaign, remotely, and having a blast doing it. I started reading recreationally again. I'm learning how to cook all sorts of things I never tried before. Overall. Things are pretty good. Considering. I witnessed enough people do the opposite of this and ruin their mental state, so it makes me happy to read that someone is making good use of their time. Keep up the good work Cyan Manta. I've kinda done both. I was on a self-improvement kick in the beginning then fell into a depressed state and stopped giving a duck. Bought a house with record low mortgage interest rates. Paid off a couple of my student loans sooner than expected thanks to the emergency forbearance and started dating an incredible girl. I sort of feel bad about how well things have been going for me, while so many other people are losing everything. I see people are interested in your house and interest rates, but I wanna know how you got the girl. How did you two meet with this distancing thing going on? P. S. Congrats on your achievements. Don't feel bad. It's not your fault things are bad for other people. We actually met back in March at a Bernie rally before the lockdown started. We chatted briefly, but I chickened out and didn't ask for her number. Threw a Hail Mary and sent her a Facebook message later that night. She never goes on Facebook, so she didn't see it until mid-July, but she responded. We started chatting, exchanged numbers, then I eventually asked her out. It forced my company to do what I've been pushing for 4 years, work remote 100%. I haven't had to take any sick time for panic attacks that I had frequently in office and have saved up enough paid time off that I can actually take a mini vacation next week and still have plenty in case something happens. My work can be 100% remote, but my company just can't understand that. Fortunately with covered I think I've proven it can be done and done successfully. I've struggled with agoraphobia and other mental health issues on and off throughout the past few years and a couple months before the pandemic I was in a really bad place and unable to leave my house for the most part. Once the pandemic moved everything online I was able to receive help while at home. And as things have been slowly reopening I have been able to better able to follow baby steps, such as eating at a restaurant, but outside on the patio where I'm more comfortable, or riding the bus with fewer people allowed on than the usual crowding, and I'm making so much progress. I feel so much better, because in a way everybody is acting in a similar way as me as far as anxiety and avoiding crowds and enclosed spaces, and slowly opening up. This has helped me feel less like a weirdo and failure. I've been able to conquer a ton of fears, and after many years of struggling I've finally addressed these issues. Edit, wow thank you for the kind words everyone. You really put a big smile on this face haha. I've never actually met or heard from anyone else who has agoraphobia, so it makes me feel even less alone to see there are others who feel like I do. It's such a shitty thing to deal with, but I believe we can all get to where we'd like to be someday 3. Fellow agoraphobic here. 
I feel like the way I go out and about is aligned with my natural state now than before the pandemic. I really appreciate your post. Before this pandemic happened I was busting my ass between two jobs. Putting in like 60 hours a week. I lost my side hustle in a restaurant and my office job switched to 100% remote for the time being. The loss of income sucked. The lack of a social life was depressing. The chance of catching a life ending virus was fear inducing. Boo it. Never have I ever had so much work life balance. No commuting. No putting on uncomfortable clothes. And doing hair and makeup to look professional. No more packing a terrible lunch and sometimes dinner every day. I get more sleep. I can get more done around the house while I'm working. My dogs are having the best year of their lives with all the cuddles and walks. I've lost 20 pounds because I have more time to excessive and make healthy food. This year has brought both good and bad. I have more time to eat and exercise and rest now. I used to eat breakfast in the car on the way to the office. Now I eat at the kitchen table and take naps most afternoons whenever the urge strikes. I sometimes get a slight headache when I need a nap. And now I just go goddamn take one. No more trying to look alert at 2pm meetings, or pretending to work for an hour, while waiting for the sleepiness to wear off. I hate saying it, because I know, so many people are in a less fortunate position. But I've financially benefited from it. Both myself and my wife have continued working, we're both just under the queue tough for the full stimulus check. I've received a lot of art. And we, sadly, had to cancel a couple of vacations this year, but were able to get mostly full refunds. That, coupled with less driving, going out to eat, etc, we've made out very well over the last 6 months. Very thankful for it. I did too, and I feel similarly awkward admitting it. I got my first real job at a supermarket due to panic buying, when I'd likely have not worked over summer normally, I'm a student. From my job I was able to buy a nice computer and several games I wanted for a while, but not had the specs for. Even with that outlay I've still got the best bank balance I've ever had. I know I'm very lucky. Same. My savings account has never been bigger. Never realized how much I could save by staying home all the time. And I'm pretty much a homebody as is. But this is a whole new level. Now I'm just saving it hardcore for when the economy totally collapses. Which will be in the next few months I'm guessing. Yeah. I was training in a hospital. When COVID started without pay. When COVID hit. They graduated me 2 months early and the hospital offered me a position. I was anticipating another 2 months of full time work as a student. But I showed up the next week a graduate with compensation. It worked out super well for me. MD. Nurse. Also, that's amazing. Better hair. I used to get it cut real short. I was already overdue when lockdown started. It gets real curly when it grows long. And I got frustrated trying to straighten it. So I just let it do its own thing. Then I started getting compliments that it looks real nice this way. So I decided to just keep this going. A better perspective on understanding myself and emotional clarity. This year my new year's resolution was, I'm getting out this year. I bought tickets for 5 concerts and a music festival. I had a trip planned for Austria and the Great Lakes. Instead, I got to its certifications, got a deck built, new driveway installed, cut down 2 trees, painted and repaired the walls of 2 rooms, installed a new vanity mirror. Had a couple of outlets and a new security light installed on our garage. New cellar door put in. A new whole house water filter. And we'll soon have a newly completed paver walkway and new gutters put on the house. Along with the trips being cancelled, my student loan payments were stopped. And I'm saving about $160 a month in gas. So it freed up a lot of money to put into my house so either I'll have a comfortable place to live through all this, or I'll be able to sell it for a bit more when everything collapses that much worse later down the road. Now that summer's wrapping up, I'm going to let the dust settle on the house repairs, get another its certification, and throw some of the extra money toward the student loans. It forced me to take my weight loss seriously. 
The pandemic hit just after a one year bulking cycle. I'm a big weightlifter, and I was in denial over just how fat I'd really gotten. I got strong as hell in 2019. But I'd put on a lot of fat. At the time I thought I needed to lose maybe 15 pounds and be good, and with access to heavy barbels at my lifting gym. I was too worried about losing strength to really commit to weight loss. Once the gym was taken out of the equation, fat loss was the only fitness related goal I could pursue. I resolved to lose 50 pounds instead of 15 pounds, yeah. I got that fat. I'm down 42 pounds so far. Feels good, man. Working from home partially has saved me a bit on gas. Insurance breaks have been alright. I've also realized that I never want to work in an office slash lab ever again. I'm perfectly content living in bumduck nowhere with some good internet. Hoping to find a 100% remote job that pays just a smidge more than my current job and I'd be chilling for a long time. Met this guy on Bumble 10 days before our country went into lockdown spent three months just talking. He was the first person I met when we were finally allowed to meet on terraces. Been dating almost three months now. More time to spend with my family. I can now solve a Rubik's cube. My mandolin playing is 300% better. Thanks to the pandemic, I now own a boat. After 6 years of trying for a child and multiple miscarriages I'm finally pregnant and going on week 20. All it took was me being able to stop being so busy I guess. I realized going full time at school to be a chemist and hosting art shows in my city made me really stressed and I was barely home. My husband and I have been getting along so well. It feels like a new beginning in this shitty plague time but we've come together and realized what great friends we really are and how much we love one another. Working from home for a few months helped me break out of some eating habits and I have lost 40 pounds over the last 6 months. 300, 260 at 6 feet 1. It certainly seems that doctor's office visits have gotten much better. No waiting in a crowded room for an hour and a half with a bunch of sick people. I realized I'd been so busy doing things I didn't really like that I'd never started doing things I really did like. Just a few I take drives with my teenage daughter every day and talk and listen to music. We've bonded over punk and grunge music. And she's learned to play the guitar and sing since. I applied to go back to college to become a nurse. I'm 49. And this is kinda terrifying. But I'm glad I did it. I also aced my first class in the summer. So I'm off to a good start. I went vegetarian. Something I tried years ago, but abandoned due to the hassle of meal planning. I feel so much better. I started running again. Because it's always made me proud when I can do a 5k distance without stopping. It's been almost 5 years since I did that. But I'm running at least a mile every other day now. And walk slash running the rest. It took a pandemic for me to restart my life. But I did it. I hope everyone reading this can try to do that with this. At least a little bit. I started following the news really early on r slash coronavirus and was able to buy masks in the hardware store. Position my investment portfolio appropriately including out of the money puts well before the crash. Made a ton. I was the one in my office that stood up and did the legacy of no. Don't ignore this in mid-feb, when it was still an over there issue and my office got prepared to work remotely full time in case schools closed. One month later I was proved right and the transition went really well, because it was all planned for. Other sections of my organization had chaos and missed deadlines. WFH ever since. Lots of time for myself and my family. Reduced pollution levels. Lucky enough to still have a job, but not too much to spend on like food and clothes and entertainment. So savings have gone up too. Spending more time with my girlfriend. Listening to her stories about being a nurse during the pandemic. I've been able to focus on myself and work towards my degree again. The ability to work from home. I'm a trainee in a German software development company. Most people work from home exclusively sans one office day. Sometimes. The guy from the company training me mostly works from home. Yet. 
trainees are prohibited from working in home office, some insurance thing, mostly, a fake. During the pandemic, of course, this was temporarily allowed, and from what I have heard now, the relevant institutions prepare to allow it in general, officially, which, especially in my field, is only reasonable given that, to learn of the reality in the job you'd, realistically, need to learn how to organize, while working from home. I went from 0 to 15 indoor houseplants and I have only killed one. I have never had a houseplant last more than a few weeks before. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.